Hi everyone, I'm Giant Spain, and welcome back to my Let's Play Chrono Trigger Edition Part 9. Uh, today we pick up where we left off last time after escaping from the past and into the future. Uh, now we seem to have stumbled into a time where the planet or world that we're in has turned into an apocalyptic wasteland. Things aren't looking so good. But it seems like people are still alive and still selling stuff, so it's a good sign, right? Let's see if we can snag a couple upgrades for our party members here before we venture forth into the dangerous wasteland. Might as well let everybody get decked out. It's not like you're... It's not like you really have a shortage of money once you start smacking monsters around. The only way I can see you having an issue money-wise would be if you like to avoid all the fights. And I... I don't know, I just... I just like smacking stuff in the face, so I tend to just kind of plow through everything. Sometimes I'll avoid stuff. You know, if, if it's... Because sometimes it's annoying when you go through an area, and then... You have to run back, and all the monsters will respawn, so if I can avoid those, I will, but, um, yeah, for the most part, I like to hit everything at least once. Make sure you don't get too far behind level-wise as well. Plus, you know, it's nice to be a little stronger when you get to those boss fights. I mean, for the most part, things have been pretty easy at the beginning of the game, but, you know, the difficulty slowly ramps itself up. Part of it's stronger monsters, part of it's, you know, whether you've been keeping up with killing your monsters and, you know, making sure that you're up to the challenge. This isn't an MMO where they, uh, you know, guide you along by the nose and list levels next to the monsters that you're fighting. You can easily bypass a bunch of crap and wind up fighting stuff that will just, you know, beat the tar out of you. So, I like to keep my characters in shape. Alright, enough of this place here. I like those little healing stations. Those are how the people out here stay alive, apparently. Uh, they can't, they don't have any food, but they're able to keep themselves from dying with the little electronics. Uh, note about these stupid little rats that run around, um, you gotta dodge past them because if they hit you, as in they hit Chrono, the rest of your party members don't really matter, they can, as long as, as long as Chrono doesn't get hit by the rat, damn it! You get by the rat and they steal your shit. Uh, usually a tonic, it's part of why I carry a bunch of tonics around. I mean, aside from them being super cheap healing. Hmm. Need to fight some mutant monsters now. Octopod. <laughs> jump on your head. It's like Zachary Zoidberg from Futurama. Get him. Shoot that squid. Uh oh. How do, how do you miss the stationary plant, Marley? Terrible. Send you out for some target practice. That was awful. Hmm. Alright. Let's get through this little area here. Got a few more. A few more monsters to bash in. Yes, I, I like that there's a monster, it's literally called a crater. And it's in an attacks you like a volcano. <laughs> hmm. 
Now, another thing too is like you didn't see it last fight, but um, the little plant thing over there on the left didn't seem to be doing anything. It's because uh, he does this, he heals everything. So, uh, sometimes if there's like multiples of them, it might be prudent to quickly take him out uh, and then move on to the next monster. But uh, you, know, you can, if there's only a few monsters, you can use overpower and take out the damage dealers first. It's usually not so much of a concern, at least not right now. In this particular area, the monsters aren't too big, it's great anyway. Get Chrono. Make salad out of that. Little shop of horrors. Alright. Onward and upward. In our hands. I mean, yeah. These things is they have enough health, or their health slow enough that you can kill them in like two hits, so you don't have to worry about getting healed. Because you'll be able to kill them before the plant thing goes. Meat Eater. It's funny that it's called a Meat Eater, but it doesn't attack if you sit there healing. Maybe they do attack. I don't know, I've never seen him attack though. Right, Ooh, that sword. Is that a 4,000 sword that they were trying to sell us earlier? Yeah, you can pretty much find most of your upgrades in the game world if you're patient. I mean, you can, yeah, sure, you can, you know, grind it out and get the load sword really early. Um, I mean, well, I think you do a little more damage, but I mean, the beginning of the game is so easy to begin with that it's not really necessary. Ooh, load boat. Sweet. Oh, look, two plants. Only two left. Sweat. Some more peons to sweep aside. for the more exciting things. So many craters. Let's get rid of them real quick. I don't understand why I didn't hit that last on the back though. But, you know, whatever. Just one last. These things are a little annoying. Um, see the shadows. Uh, from what I can tell, they're pretty much immune to physical damage, so you just have to use uh, you know, magic attacks on, or basically tech techniques on.
guy can paralyze you for about a round. Or slide down or something, I'm not sure what that status is. Marley's healing magic for it, but I wasn't really thinking. Was like, yeah, I got a bunch of tonics. Save her. Save her mana for when it's more necessary, since her heal heals for more than a tonic does. It's annoying when they don't line up, though, for the AoE attacks. Stupid ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Actually, one of the nice things I like about having Nancy in the group is that's her little scope for a gun. Uh, lets you see the health of monsters. It isn't always necessary, but it is nice sometimes if you want to prioritize if there's a bunch of stuff there. Or just to kind of get an idea of how much health, you know, a boss or something might have. Although it didn't work on bosses. I mean, I've had it before not work on certain bosses, so. Might not be an all time type of thing. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead. And then. And that concludes Let's Play Chrono Trigger Part 9. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time, Part 10.